Hey everyone, uh, sorry I haven't been on in a while, but uh, here's a good taxidermy tip on building your own eye rings. Um, a lot of people like the uh, flex eye rings. I don't. So it's very simple to just go ahead and do your own. And I build mine, this is a customer's piece, I build mine directly on the eye. Um, that way I don't have to worry about um, attaching it to to the uh, uh, mount when it's done but uh, what I like to do first is take a take a pop regular popsicle stick and uh, glue the eye just put a little dab of hot glue uh, these are acrylic eyes um, so I don't want to completely glue the whole thing down, but uh, I just glue it on one edge of it. And I glue it to the end of a popsicle stick, that way instead of holding an eye in between my fingers and try to put an eye ring on it, I can just hold this popsicle stick and move it around and uh, be able to do the fine details in the eye. Uh, in the eye ring, sorry. And uh, yeah, so hot glue, just a little dab, a little dab will do you. And then uh, just the edge of the eye, and just hold that on there and let it let it set. We'll go ahead and unplug my hot glue gun and set it to the side. But uh. I've been doing this for a few years, um, and uh, it, it it works pretty good. Uh, these eyes are gonna go towards a wood duck. Wood ducks have very prominent uh, um, eye rings. So what I like to do is uh, actually just like. Uh, rebuild it so I'm gonna set that to the side and uh, what my modeling tool I like to use is actually just my regular old scalpel blade uh, and handle but uh, I have two pieces of epoxy sculpt um, both of these are supposed to be uh, my fingers are a little they're actually drying out um, because of this cold weather and cracking but uh, I like to uh, Warm, warm it up. And then uh, do the same thing with the other one. And make a uh, snake out of it. Um, you probably remember in art class uh, building, making snakes um, out of clay and such. But uh, let me make that one a little bit bigger. There we go. And, uh, put the two pieces, uh, it's a two-part epoxy sculpt and mash it all together. There we go. Uh, one, one piece and then I pinch off a little piece of epoxy sculpt and then uh, roll this out and make a very, very tiny snake. Uh, um, I would say it's probably about uh, a little over sixteenth, uh, between a sixteenth and an eighth of an inch. Uh, that way I have uh, some extra to uh, sculpt with um, but uh, what I like to do is uh, start the color the color of uh, wood duck eye rings are like a reddish orange and yellow and and uh, but uh, I don't have 
all those colors in epoxy sculpt. I don't think they even make all those colors in epoxy sculpt. So what I like to do is actually look at my reference and see how the uh, the eye ring is actually formed and uh, start sculpting that piece. All right. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to make make it kind of make the eyes kind of narrow because when I start pressing the uh, the epoxy sculpt to form the actual eye ring, it's going to start pulling away from the center of the eye. So here we go, and uh, as you can see, it kind of will start pulling as I start sculpting just the eye ring itself. It's a little difficult for me to do this uh, like this because I have the camera in front of me. So I'm working around the camera. But uh, It's coming together pretty good. And all I'm doing is just using the back edge of the scalpel blade to actually uh, form this using it as the modeling tool. Um, you can scrape away extra. Whatever you do, do not scratch. In fact, beginners, use a wooden uh, modeling tool. Don't use, a, don't use a metal modeling tool because with these acrylic eyes, they can scratch and it's it can be a, a bit of a bitch to uh, um, get that scratch out. So don't don't use for beginners. Do not use metal model. Show you tools. what I do with uh, there's like these little dimples. Uh, in the actual eye ring and um, what I like to do is just take the actual sharp part of my scalpel blade and push and create these little little indentations in the actual eye ring. I use uh, I use this color epoxy sculpt just because it's a good uh, base color um, and then all I gotta do is just go in and actually uh, paint these um, using uh, I like to use the pan pastels just because uh, they're they're very very light powders that can mix very, very easily. And as you see, uh, me turning the popsicle stick, um, it's a whole lot easier to do to work on that eye. Let's see, that's not. And um, some some places are higher, some places are lower. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go in and just slightly push that eye out or that eye ring out to give it more fullness. And believe it or not, you can actually scratch uh, glass ones as well. But um, that's 
one of the uh, tips that I have for uh, building your own eye rings. So that's what I that's this is how I like to do it uh, when I when I build my own eye rings for uh, like wood ducks and stuff because they just have a big prominent nice big eye ring that that sets its eye off and they're gorgeous so but uh yeah until next time uh if you like what you see uh feel free to subscribe to my channel i will be back with uh updating uh my page with new videos and things like that but uh thanks for watching